forget your ring camera. You know, I'm getting so fed up with people in these ring cameras. It's really starting to make me uh, blow, want to blow a fuse. The reason why I purchased the chest mounts for underdog spring is because, you know, we going to uh, have to get to a point where we record all of our work. And I say that because I've had about four or five customers after I've sprayed their lawn, they've said, uh, oh, were you here? We didn't, we didn't see you on the ring camera. And it's almost like I have to defend myself or I have to go back and, you know, recall what was on the property to prove that I was there. So I bought the chest mounts. Every now and then I wear them, you know, for YouTube footage and also for proof that we sprayed the lawn. So today, give me a second. Today I go to get my money from a customer. And uh, it's been, it's, a, it's been about uh, eight days since I sprayed the lawn lives about two miles away from my, where I live at, so it's no problem. I don't mind spraying it and leaving. But he tells me, or he asks me on the phone, have you uh, been by the spray? Now keep in mind, before I go out to all of my customers' properties, I always send notifications. I have yard books set up where uh, I can send out mass texts to all the clients to let them know that I'll be out uh, the next day. In addition to, to that, as I'm going out to the customer uh, property the, the day of, I always send a text and let them know I'm on the way. So he knew I was coming. You know, this ain't the first time he's, he's done this. But he, you know, he asked, uh, well, you been out of spring? I told him, yeah. You know, so immediately when you, when you, uh, kind of catch somebody up in their wrongdoing or you know they're full of crap they'll try to throw something else your way as if as if it's like uh you know we we playing childish games for example i sprayed the lawn i don't know if you got the money to pay or not but uh all of a sudden you start pointing out things that you don't like in the lawn for example he said uh well you know, my neighbor didn't see you on the ring camera. And I'm just like, man, I told him, I said, you know what? That, that's enough, man. I said, this, this is the second time that you've done this. And I said, I, I don't like feeling like I'm a liar. So he was like, well, Karen didn't see you, which is his neighbor across the street. He said, well, Karen didn't see you. And I'm like, first and foremost, she ain't, she not looking on the camera for me. And when I spray her yard, she knows I take care of her property and she gonna see me on her property. And pr plus the proof's in the pudding. You know, so when you stand up and fight back, you know, for what you know you've been doing, then all of a sudden what comes out is, oh, well, I don't like the dandelions in the yard. And I'm like, here we go with this nonsense. So I explained to let them know, first and foremost, I had put them on schedule for November. Right, because the way we treat our customers, we treat our customers all year long, from January to December, start all over again. In August, we start putting down pre-emergent. So the pre-emergent runs from August all the way to the upcoming year or the following year up until March. So next month, we're gonna start running fertilizer, right? But I've been putting pre-emergent down and then when it got even colder, uh, you know, I kind of pulled off the pre-emergent and I started putting down glyphosate, right? And then pick back, pick right back up. Um, this month, you know, this year, this year kind of did it different because we had to put lime down on the property in January. So pick right back up and March start putting the pre-emergent down. But keep in mind, this particular customer missed two of the most key 
months of the previous year, 2023. He missed November and December. Not only did he miss November and December, the last time I sprayed his property was October 17th uh, of 2023. And then I picked back up in January 17th of 2024. So we got from, we, we, we got almost three months that he has went without weed control, right? And, uh, and we'll say two months, but we're gonna act, we, we ain't gonna just have it two months flat. Maybe like two and a half months at least, you know, that's, I, I'll give it that right there. But the point is he should have stayed on the program. If you don't stay on the program, what happens is you're gonna start getting a lot of breakthrough because in the winter time you get a lot of rain, uh, not to mention heavy rain and you know a lot of runoff so the chemicals that sit on the lawn they're going to start running off or getting washed away in addition to all the different weeds that are germinating on the property when spring gets here everything is going to start coming up because you miss those treatments the chemicals based on how i was trained they last a good 30 days before uh, the chemicals start to break down we like to get back right at the 30 days, as opposed to most companies, they'll wait anywhere from five to six weeks before they get back on the lawn. And, that, and that's okay. You just kind of have to increase the potency of the product or of the chemicals. But as far as, you know, how we do it, it's every 30 days, that's how I was trained. Um, and that's just how I stick to it for now, because eventually we'll probably have too many customers where we won't be able to do the 30 day rotation. But missing those treatments, it, it, it kind of throws you off the program. So I say that to say, you know, you make sure you cover everything you're supposed to cover. I covered this with all my customers. This particular customer, I didn't have to cover it because he has a golf course lawn that looks real nice and he understands the lawn. But for some reason he thought that he can miss these treatments. Now he told me he had the holidays that was coming up. So that's understandable, all right? For you guys, not for me, because I don't observe those holidays, right? I, I observe the holidays out of the Bible. You know, point blank period. The Sabbath day, uh, uh, Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, Memorial Blowing the Trumpets, um, the Day of Atonement, Feast of Tabernacles. That's what I observe. So, so for me, when you stop for the holidays, I respect what you're doing, but at the same time, I got you on the program. And if that program is not abided by, whatever comes up, that's just what happens. I don't wanna hear nothing in the spring about why you got all these weeds in your property, all right? But the simple fact that this guy is using ring to try to justify whether or not I've been out there, it really pissed me the hell off. So much so that I told him to keep his money, keep your money, and he doesn't know, but I went right in yard book and I inactivated him as a customer because I'm not going to let some technology that doesn't work all the time, you know, make me feel like I'm not doing my job as a technician and as a business owner, you know, and I say the same thing to you guys that are starting businesses or, you know, if you working outside and stuff like that, you may want to get a chest mount to kind of uh, document your work have some type of proof so when a customer who seems like they're trying to get out of paying you throw something in your face like this you'll have proof for me what i would do was before i got a chest mouse i would uh bookmark certain things in the yard you know if i see something in the backyard i'll just make sure i kind of hone in on it so in case somebody say well oh you know uh, we didn't see you on the camera like i had another customer i you know i was spraying mosquito uh, uh mosquito control on that property and the lady actually said to me Oh, you got done that quick? We didn't see you in the backyard. I was like, yeah, I was in the backyard. You have a, you, you got like a, a toy mouse on the ground by the, by the pool. You know, they had a, got a, had a, a pool, it used to be a pool. I said, and I looked right at it just in case you guys didn't see me. And it just so happened they didn't see me. But when I recited that and told her what it was I saw in the backyard, then she was convinced. So, I just had to come and let, let, let some of you guys know how to deal with those issues right there because it, it really made me upset. So once again, F your ring camera. Now you can make the F stand for whatever you want to stand for. 
I'm just saying, forget your ring camera. That's it, all right? Either you're gonna let me do my job, you're gonna trust me to do my job, or find you somebody else. I'm not True Green, I don't go salons. Okay, not trying to throw shade on True Green, but that's what the that's what most people tell me. So if that's your experience, that's not what we do. I ain't ghosting no line. I don't gotta worry about, I ain't worried about what, what man can do to me. I worry about what the most high can do to me, okay? I can, if, if I can get away from you as a man, I can't get away from the Lord. He gonna see everything and believe me, he gonna chastise me if I get out of line. But if I gotta feel like, you know, that you can't trust me on the property, I gotta feel like you think I'm a thief and stuff like that, then keep your dog on money, call somebody else. As we continue to grow, all we want is a certain type of customer. And matter of fact, I have 10 customer commandments that I'll come back one day and I'll make a video and tell you about these 10 customer, uh, customer commandments. And maybe you can use it for your service as well. Instead of you always, you know, trying to review us and talk about us as business owners and stuff like that and, you know, great our work. Well, I have set up stipulations for my customer. And if you can't fit these 10 commandments that I got for you, then it's more than likely we won't be a good fit. So I'll do a video on my 10 customer commandments but until then, if you can, get your ring camera. If you work outside, cut grass, uh, spraying lawns, get you something to get you something to have some proof to show that you actually, you know, went in the backyard and weed eat it, weed eat the lawn, or went in the backyard and sprayed around the, you know, around the uh, uh, backyard area where they can't see. That way, when they try to bring something up like this, you know, you're already covered. All right, thanks a lot for listening to my rant, <laughs> underdog.